We are back this week in COVID-19 prevention mode to bring you your latest crypto capsule, the weekly recap of all the developments in the global crypto ecosystem that you need to know, and all this in less than 60 seconds. Here we go. Facebook announced that it is changing the name of its Libra wallet from Calibra to Novi. Novi will be usable as a standalone app, as well as the WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger apps. All users will first need to provide government-issued ID. Once they can use Novi, they'll be able to make cross-border money transfers instantly, securely, and with no hidden fees. Separately, a group called the Digital Dollar Project, led by the former CFTC chairman Chris Giancarlo, put forward its proposal for a digital dollar in the United States. The digital dollar will be issued by the U.S. Federal Reserve and will be distributed to commercial banks. But members of the public could also hold it in their own digital wallets. On the market side, the crypto prime broker wars have started. Coinbase announced the acquisition of a crypto prime broker, Tagomi. This just followed the news that crypto trading from Genesis and crypto custodian Bitco are both entering the space as well. In India, the central bank clarified that there are no longer any restrictions on the ability of banks to offer their services to crypto firms. In Canada, new rules now allow crypto exchanges to be regulated as money servicing businesses. Finally, China adopted its new civil code, which will come into force in January. The new code will provide legal protection to online virtual assets. That's all for this week's folks, and see you all next week, most probably still in coronavirus prevention mode.